Hey everyone, this is George Gross, and welcome back to season three of Mindset Monday. Hey everyone, it's uh, good to see you again. This is George Gross. You can actually see the the brick is gone, uh, and it's not because we removed the brick, but moved places. So uh, I'm in a new setting uh, as I'm recording this. It is uh, middle of July. 2022 and I wanted to release this you know around the beginning of the school year share some uh, uh, you know start a new episode of mindset Monday and actually received a, um, a nice message the other day and it was uh, uh, I think from Jeff Burr and he he actually shared with me he shared with me a nice message but he said yeah I kind of miss uh, mindset Monday so I thought you know what I'm gonna start it up again and probably no better time than right now because um, as you, as I, as I mentioned, I'm actually in a totally, um, new house. I'm in a new city. I'm actually in a new country. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of change and I kind of like what you see behind me kind of looks organized. What I see in front of me is not organized right now and it is all over the place. And I have been, um, just kind of stressed with this whole thing. And, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about, you know, I'm going to try to tie in the mindset Monday stuff to some of the stuff I'm dealing with with move and like why I'm changing. And so um, the thing that I wanted to talk about today is like, um, I know probably right now, a lot of you are starting new roles. Maybe it's a new job. It's a new um, city. Uh, it's a new place, people you don't know. And so I thought, well, I'm kind of going through a major change too. What are the things I've learned? And actually, like, what are the things that help me when I move to new jobs, I can kind of look back and retrospect that might help you too, because um, there's a lot of uh, unfamiliar things I'm dealing with right now. I don't, I have to use Google Maps for everything, right? I lived in a place where, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I, I did have to use Google Maps for about half the places, uh, but the other half I was very good at. But now I'm like, I do not know where I am half the time, uh, but what a half, 95% of the time, um, even in my own home I don't know where stuff is and it's there's a lot of disarray there's a lot of things I'm dealing with and and I actually it's weird because I'm talking to this mic and I've switched you know even though I have the same desk I switched where my screen is where the mindset Monday where the buttons are um yeah so I'm just trying to get used to things but I've also like intentionally changed some things I'm trying some different stuff and so I just you know I, I, I've I've been struggling a bit right and like this is mindset Monday right? And it's like, how do you improve this? But it's not to pretend that everything's great all the time. It's how do you deal with, you know, um, different things that are happening in your life? How do you share some of this stuff? So I started thinking about, you know, some of the blessings I've had with new jobs I've started. And the thing that I've said, I've said this a million times before, sometimes the best thing that's ever happened to me was not getting a new job, it was leaving an old one that it, it did some things for me. So, you know, in the moment now i can say that retroactively and it's great to say that but i guarantee you that when that transition was happening it was not um as easy so i kind of wanted to share this with you all um some of the things i've dealt with when changing a new job that really helped me and just dealing with massive changes in life and really i think part of it too is i wanted to write this down because i was dealing with so much stuff and and just kind of think like hopefully this can help other people and hey it's season season three episode one of Mindset Monday. So I, I gotta get used to where that button is. So figuring this out and um uh, so I I wrote down four points and this is gonna be a blog post and what I've been kind of doing lately I I've been actually um doing podcasts and then writing the blog post where I used to write the post and then do the podcast. So I kind of want to talk this out and then think about. So I, I did write down four points. But I want to expand on this, you know, on the fly in the podcast. And so the first thing that I ask, like, is when you're dealing with change or disarray, is that, you know, it's really great to ask for help early rather than too late. I think as we're entering new spaces, we're going to new places, we get a little bit nervous to act like to be annoying to people that are always asking questions and sharing this stuff. But what is probably more annoying is someone who doesn't ask who screws things up constantly, right? And like, you know, makes major mistakes. And I think a lot of times it is really beneficial. And I know that when I went to move to new schools, new districts, um, the office staff was so helpful. And 
Um, I think that a lot of times when we don't know some of these things, our eagerness to do really well, it comes through. And I think people are really been, you know, really wanted to help you through that process. So as I'm kind of getting into this new area, and I was actually, um, I was actually going to kind of fall into some old routines. Um, I was asked to go for lunch today. And I was like, No, nah, I'm not gonna do that. Because you know, that's not me, I gotta work. And I'm like, Well, you know, I don't know anybody here. I'm, I'm getting familiar with the community. And I'm like, this is like a really good time. So just kind of make some connections, make some networks. And I think it's the same thing as you move to a different school, um, move to a different job. Who are the people around you and get to know people make that that time to make a connection. Um, and, and really kind of, you know, ask for help as you're going along the way. If you don't ask for help early, but you make a major screw up, and then people have to come fix it, that's more of a problem than just kind of starting with a blank slate. And I, I was just thinking about this. Um, one of the things that uh, my parents own a restaurant, I remember my, my, my dad sharing this with me, and I thought it was really interesting that he really liked when uh, people came to um, the restaurant that had no experience working in the restaurant other because um, they could really mold them to do, you know, to really kind of understand that culture and, you know, sometimes not, um, you know, bring in maybe some bad habits. So I think really getting to know people, understanding the culture, understanding, you know, where little things are. Cause I think a lot of times I remember, you know, going into school and not knowing like how to use a photocopier, not using these things I was used to in another school. I think kind of finding some of that stuff out um, and asking for help instead of just pushing buttons until, you know, something happens is, is a great way not only to, you know, familiar, familiarize yourself with the environment, but to connect with other people and really kind of build those connections. The, the second thing that I wrote um, and I was really thinking about as I've made this move is it's been tough and I was very comfortable where I was. And what I mean by that was like, I just knew where stuff was and it was just easy and kind of like was going through my day to day. And now I'm like all over the place. And when you're kind of in that space where you're kind of going over the place, it's like you, you long for the past. Um, it's true in our personal lives, right? You might have started a new relationship and there's some uncertainty, there's some stuff there. And then you start kind of maybe wanting to go back to the old relationship, right? Which wasn't really that good, right? But you kind of, but you knew it, right? And so I think for me, kind of looking back at some of the job uh, things I've shifted in my life, I, I I asked myself like, okay, what could this look like, you know, three to six months down the road, right? It's, it sucks sometimes right at the beginning. And that's the hardest part. And that's why I wanted to share this as the first episode is because I know some of you listening to this are going through a new beginning. But you left for a reason, you moved on for a reason, whether it's you wanted a new place, you wanted a fresh start, you have a, you know, maybe a career change, a uh, different role in your organization, you want a, a fresh start. And so I think just start instead of being caught up in the right now, and some of the uncertainty that you're dealing with, focus on six months for now, and what that could look like, what is that possible as you get comfortable and understand the environment that you're moved into? What could that look like? Because I think as I was kind of struggling with that, that really helped me is that, hey, I moved here for a reason, you know, six months from now, what are some of the things I moved here for that I'm looking forward to? And so the third one that I wrote down is stick with the routines that help you find success outside of your job. So um, I actually went uh, as I as I made this this trip uh, to get down here to Orlando, it was actually a five day drive. And the reason I drove uh, my family actually flew and I drove um, because I brought the dogs who are my family and uh, I drove them and there's certain things I couldn't do um, that I, I do every day like go to the gym things like that because I couldn't just leave my dogs in a hotel room they're unfamiliar environments and so I was like really stressed about that so what I actually did is I have certain things I do every day no matter where I am and I know it's like these are health um, you know I focus on a certain amount of protein that I try to eat in a day so that helped me kind of stay on track when I wasn't working out. I focused on a num number of steps. And it was beautiful because there it wasn't like, oh, I have to run every day. It was like, hey, get certain steps. And now I had this great opportunity to walk my dogs in a way that I wasn't walking them before. And it was like weird because I built a little stronger bond with my dogs on this trip. Uh, now they're following me everywhere, which I, I am, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to lie. I love it. It's awesome. Um, and, and just kind of like, and I would do push-ups every day. 
So I think when we go to these new places, um, when we get to a space, we can actually sometimes forget about the routines that, that open this door up in the first place. And I'm not talking about work routines. I'm talking about life routines. I'm talking about things that we do every single day. And too often when we find success in our lives, we go away from the thing that actually helped us to get to that space. And yes, there's an opportunity to try new things, but it's also remember, like, what are the things that really helped us, you know, um, in our life in the past? And what are some of those routines that we, we keep uh, in the past? You know, I haven't been writing and I'm trying and I'm starting to get back into it. And um, I've been writing little notes here and there because I know writing is, is something that is isn't just something I do. It's a habit that I form that helps me reflect. And if I don't actually do it, my, my brain starts to literally feel like it's about to explode, which is probably one of the reasons I actually started recording this podcast. And so the last one I wanted to share is to take advantage of the fresh start. Here's what I love about moving and, you know, changing jobs, moving organizations, you get a fresh start, you know, and I think a lot of times we think about that from like an us perspective, you know, I can try some new things. But what I love about it is you uh, a lot of times in these fresh starts, nobody knows you. And that means you can kind of recreate yourself in a way that some of the past perceptions of ourselves um, that we're kind of stuck with our people. And I'll, I'll give you an example in my work life. I, I, I felt like in one position that when I kind of changed my view on education, uh, my commitment, my passion for it, that people didn't see George in the present. They were stuck on seeing George of the past, who was not as excited about education, who was not excited about the thing I was doing. And so I felt that no matter what I, what I was doing, I was always going to be that person. Whereas now no one knows me here. I'm, I have this blank slate and it's the same with the job. Right. And I think the best, like I said, the best thing I've done sometimes is leaving a job and just kind of opening that door up and saying like, Hey, no one knows me. What do I strive to be? And how do I make sure people see this uh, in the beginning? So I started really taking initiatives in things I didn't take initiative in the past because I kind of felt like it was a waste of time because no matter what I was going to do, I was always going to be perceived as one way um, by certain people. So I, I think that that fresh start, you get it, but so does everyone else that connects with you. So take advantage of it. So I wanted to just kind of talk about these things because like I said, this is not just about you helping others, but I wanted to help myself and just kind of talk about this because I have been stressed out about this process and um, just trying to get used to some different stuff. And so I thought, hey, one of the things I love doing is doing this podcast. I love Mindset Mondays and I hope this helped you in some way, but if it didn't, hopefully it helped me. There's a lot to deal with right now, but uh, thanks again for joining me, Mindset Mondays. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope uh, I'm looking forward to another 10 episodes and see what I talk about, but have a great day. Thanks.